Space is always hard, especially for something like Boeing's Starliner. Realizing this, NASA just officially awarded a big contract to SpaceX's Dragon for space rescue missions, possibly starting with Starliner astronauts. So, how will this happen? And why was Dragon chosen? Let's find out on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Recently, on July 15th, NASA officially awarded SpaceX a contract worth $267,000 US dollars for using Dragon as a rescue vehicle. The contract emphasizes it as a special study for emergency response, highlighting the critical role of this vehicle. This contract comes at a crucial time as SpaceX faces challenges with Falcon 9 incidents. Despite these setbacks, SpaceX vehicles remain the most reliable, with achievements far surpassing others. Therefore, choosing SpaceX vehicles for such an important mission is entirely understandable. And we might not have to wait long for SpaceX's Dragon to take on a rescue role, because it might happen rather soon with Starliner. After the June 5th launch, Boeing's spacecraft has yet to bring its two astronauts back due to ongoing thruster problems and helium leaks. Faced with this situation, during a teleconference on July 10th, NASA announced their intention to bring the astronauts back on Starliner. However, they also made a revelation. And, and then, you know, after that, we've talked about the, the beautiful thing about commercial crew program is that we have two, two vehicles, two different systems that we could use to, to return crew. This reveal doesn't directly mention Dragon, but it's clear that when considering the aerospace industry as a whole, there is no better vehicle to accomplish this task. Regarding how Dragon might rescue other missions, it could involve having a Falcon 9 and Dragon on standby, ready to launch if a mission encounters problems. In the case of Starliner, if chosen for the current CFT-1 mission, it would launch immediately, dock with the ISS, and the crew would board the spacecraft and return similar to normal missions. For future missions, Falcon 9 and Dragon might be prearranged alongside mission preparations to launch quickly in the event of unexpected issues, rescuing astronauts as soon as possible. If a mission doesn't involve the space station and can't return immediately, Dragon could connect with the station as an intermediate point before proceeding with subsequent steps. But will that come true? Regarding the current status of Starliner in the latest update, NASA stated, teams completed ground hot fire testing at White Sands and are working to evaluate the test data and inspect the test engine. NASA and Boeing's engineers are evaluating results from last week's engine tests at NASA's White Sands test facility in New Mexico as the team works through plans to return the agency's Boeing crew flight test from the International Space Station in the coming weeks. The ongoing ground analysis is expected to continue throughout the week. The work mentioned is still mainly related to thrusters and ground tests. Steve Stitch, manager of NASA's commercial crew program revealed, next our team has moved into engine teardowns and inspections, which will provide additional insight as we analyze the results and evaluate next steps. As for the astronauts, they will spend this time conducting work with the Expedition 71 crew, performing vein scans using the Ultrasound 2 device and taking inventory of the food stored aboard the space station. Regarding the general schedule, as NASA updates, they are planning to return the mission in the coming weeks. But also in this update, an official said, integrated ground teams are also prepared for an in-depth agency flight test readiness review, which will evaluate data related to the spacecraft's propulsion system performance before its return to Earth. The date of the agency review has not yet been solidified. Remember that we are approaching the last days of July. If NASA's schedules are correct, the return date seems quite far away and it will be difficult to meet the end of July return target that Steve Stitch mentioned in the teleconference. Furthermore, the current tests simply simulate Starliner's problems. Nothing ensures that they have resolved those problems on the prototype or whether they will happen again on the return journey. Indeed, the decision to return on Starliner is still truly risky. 
With the current situation, do you think the possibility of Falcon 9 and Dragon participating in rescuing Starliner will come true? Please let me know with a yes or a no in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to our channel to continue following SpaceX's development journey. Indeed, more than any other vehicle, SpaceX vehicles will be the best vehicles to do just that. There are two main reasons for this. Firstly, Dragon's record is superior to any other vehicle, with nine crew flights for NASA and four private missions. In the near future, when Falcon 9 returns, it'll participate in two other important crew missions, Crew 9 and Polaris Dawn. Recently, Dragon was awarded a contract of up to $843 million by NASA to deorbit the ISS in 2030. This shows Dragon's great capabilities. Meanwhile, its launch vehicle, the Falcon 9, despite encountering recent problems, still has an outstanding record, with more than 360 launches and a high success rate. It boasts excellent landing capabilities in both landing zones and on drone ships, along with impressive reuse milestones. This reliability has enabled SpaceX to develop its own internet satellite system and become the most dependable choice for other organizations. The second reason why Dragon is a good choice is its readiness. With Dragon, there are currently up to four active prototypes. Besides the prototype on the ISS for the Crew-8 mission, SpaceX has three other prototypes and one under development to be completed this year. Falcon 9 always has many prototypes available, and both Dragon and Falcon 9 can be reused. This readiness gives them a significant advantage over any other vehicle for conducting rescue missions. But before it can even think about donning a cape and fly up, up, and away, SpaceX will need to solve its problems soon. Although the Falcon 9 incident will not affect their future position, it caused a lot of disruption to SpaceX's current plans. More importantly, it also poses a risk for future missions. Recently, SpaceX conducted tests with the Falcon 9's second stage engine and showed good results. This indicates the recent problem is an isolated incident, not a mass error. Therefore, SpaceX has asked the FAA to allow the Falcon 9 to fly once again after the FAA confirms there is no risk to public safety. In addition, facing the current stagnation, NASA seems to be conducting its own processes that's outside of what the FAA does to bring Falcon 9's flight back soon. This is definitely a good sign for SpaceX to soon meet schedules like Polaris Dawn or Crew 9. But even when returning to operations, I still think SpaceX must soon complete a mishap investigation. This is crucial not only to identify and handle the problem with the flight, but also to prevent it from happening again in the future. One of the biggest issues is fuel leaks, the direct cause of the recent Falcon 9 incident and a common problem with many other vehicles. Addressing this problem thoroughly will be important for missions, including rescue missions. Looking further into the future, we can expect bigger strides related to the rescue mission. At that time, Starship is expected to replace Dragon and Falcon 9. Starships can carry a payload of up to 150 tons and accommodate up to 100 people. These capabilities can be even more in the future with the release of new versions like V3. That's a great ability that make rescue more effective. Currently, Starship is in the development stage, but with four flights under its belt, this giant rocket has made many strides, notably the successful two-stage landing in the fourth flight. With this progress, I believe Starship will soon go into operation. However, like the Falcon 9, to help Starship operate stably and participate in rescue missions, SpaceX also needs to address several issues. Firstly, it needs to fix the problem with the re-entry process by upgrading the heat shield system. Currently, SpaceX is replacing the heat shield on the S-30 prototype, and its effectiveness will be demonstrated on Flight 5 in the coming weeks. They also need to resolve engine problems as some have failed in previous flights. In addition to these major issues, there are numerous other problems that SpaceX needs to tackle. But I believe, as they have many times before, that the SpaceX team will overcome these challenges and achieve new successes. That's when SpaceX vehicles such as Falcon 9, Dragon, and of course Starship will demonstrate their rapid development and comprehensive capabilities. Not only will they continue to dominate the aerospace industry with impressive achievements and records in launch, landing, and reuse, but they will also play a crucial role in making space travel safer and more effective, not to mention more affordable. This will mark the beginning of a new era where space travel is not reserved for a few individuals, elites, 
or organizations, but it will be open to the masses, and I can't wait. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.